regulatory requirements. They're getting tighter and tighter, so the protection of the environment. Finding suitable materials on site, natural materials, is a big issue, particularly for, for large mine sites that have operated for a long time. They've already exhausted the, the good clays, for example. Sometimes if you need aggregate for drainage material, you know, that, that's also used elsewhere, all the good stuff is gone. A lot of mine sites and oil and gas sites want to keep those materials for end of life so that they can do their closures. But we're finding with closure design as well, geosynthetics are needed to, to limit infiltration into tailings, for example, um, which then can further generate seepage that is unwanted in the environment. We can do the, the full spectrum. We will do the geotechnical assessment and we'll analyse how the tailings will behave in the long term. We do work with agronomists and other environmental specialists that can help generate the cover system to get the vegetation growing. So the closure liner component is, is really small compared to what goes on top because ultimately the landform needs to be created to reflect what was there historically and then we want the generation of vegetation which will help maintain that landform into the future. So the primary components are geosynthetics but they're buried and what you see on top is, is all of the other good stuff you know where, the, where you can create um, animal habitats and biodiversity.